This was one of the biggest TV hits of 2021. RFDS follows the lives of doctors, nurses, pilots and support staff living and working in the outback. And tonight the series returns to our screens. Let the mayhem begin. We have our medical team into the arena. What's that? I'm bloody glad you were there. Hi. Hey. What's her deal? She was here and then she wasn't and now she's here again. Wondering what the hell I should do. Oh, honey, the drama. All your favourite characters are back for season two, along with a couple of new cast members as well, who are set to shake things up in beautiful Broken Hill. And actor Stephen Peacock joins us now. Good morning to you. Oh, we've been morning. waiting for this. Yeah. First of all, there's drama and then there's the love interest. So we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> what can we expect from season two? I think we've just gone um, bigger and better, even. Uh, I mean, the first season was extraordinary extraordinary to be a part of from my point of view because I sort of grew up in regional Australia and I worked in the bush and it's it's a big thing for me to be a part of something like this and then you know the second season the scripts are even better we've got a new DOP so it's got a different look and um, it's weird when our agents called up to see if we wanted to do season two they said well there'll be a bit, bit about a week before everyone signs on so we won't know and within the first the first night everyone said yes because everyone was so keen to get back out there yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's um it was great it bodes for a great show doesn't it when yeah. everyone wants to be there and get involved the flying doctors I mean, it, it, some of the incidents that you guys film it feels dramatic but inspired by real events yeah we'd, we'd often get the scripts um Ian Meadows Claire Phillips led our um our, our the, the writing of the scripts are incredible but you get them and you think well no one's going to believe this because it's it's too crazy. And then you find out that they all happened. Everything we've, we've do, done in our show has really? happened or has been... Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Some of the stuff that the flight... the doctors and flight nurses have seen out there is insane. And, yeah, to be able to bring all that uh, to a big audience in Australia and it's found a big audience in Europe and now America, the show, um, it's great because it's, it's the lifeblood of, of the bush, the RFDS. So you've got real doctors and nurses from RFDS liaising and telling you what really happened. Yes, we had Dr Tim. Dr Tim Duncan was, was there to help us every day. Andrew, one of the flight nurses um, from out in Broken Hill, born and raised in Broken Hill um, and works for the RFDS now. They were there to, to tell us how to jam things down people's windpipes <laughs> really? and, and get them breathing again and, and do everything in between. So it was, it was incredible. And I probably annoyed the hell out of them because I was always asking questions just because it's so interesting. Mm. And because, you know, when you come from a background like mine, you've got, you don't see this stuff, thankfully. But what they do is extraordinary and yeah. they can do it. Yeah. Their heart rate does not get above a, a patter. They're just so calm under extraordinary circumstances. So it's, it's good storytelling. I'm just imagining, Steve, you're sticking it down his throat wrong. Yeah. Take it out and try again. I know, in the wrong circumstances, yeah. that could sound really bad. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be down his nose. That's right. <laughs> Stephen, it's great to see you. Uh, one of the best things about this is just celebrating the bush too, and, and you can yeah. see why the rest of the world loves it, because when you look at some of those scenes, it is just stunning and quintessential mm. Australia. Mm. It's just amazing. Um, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we cannot yes. wait. Season two of RFDS premieres tonight, right after The Voice. Thank you.